Welcome back to the mailbag I promised you last week. Uh, we have here a selection of some <coughs> little items. Enjoy! I think I will start with the boring stuff and then we can so uh, just you know material cutting away from me and then we can work our way towards uh, the highlight uh, what's in here paper <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's it. Okay, so <clears throat> just a cut off from aluminum round stock, 52 millimeters in diameter, hopefully. And this will become a hub for a wheel. Uh, if you don't know about that project, cart here to the playlist, link in the description. And just for my peace of mind, yeah, seems to be 52 millimeters as ordered. Uh, yeah, uh, it's aligned here and it's a little over 30 millimeters in length. So I can, oops, uh, yeah, clean up the surfaces and turn it down and have something to grab on in the lathe. For the next segment, I will have to speak up because I cannot have a label microphone on because the camera is back there where you are. Um, yeah. Let's unpack this. Okay, this is kind of a puzzle. <clears throat> which contains mostly cardboard <laughs> and <laughs> two meters, two meters of a six by six millimeter square aluminum stock, uh, not drawn, but uh, you know, uh, pressed out of a form. And to be honest, I probably only need uh, 40 millimeters of that, but um, yeah, that was the smallest amount I could buy. And yeah, there's nothing else in here. Huh. Same game with the next item. Uh, yeah, I hope you can hear me. So first we have <clears throat> some yeah drawn aluminum round stock uh, I'm not sure I guess nine millimeters uh, 1500 millimeters of it. <clears throat> then we have more aluminum round stock. 18 millimeters and 500 millimeter long. I don't need that much, but uh, yeah, again, if you <clears throat> order less, you have to pay the same price. So I ordered the amount or the length with, uh, yeah, with no penalty for ordering only a smaller length. And finally, that's 280 millimeters of 24 millimeter diameter aluminum round stock. Then we have a 10 millimeter thick pom. Uh, I think 450 millimeters long and 72 millimeters wide. And a big block of palm. 
Um, yeah, in some oh, in dimensions also 22 millimeters by 22 millimeters by, uh, I don't know, but uh, pretty square. And free wood. And all those items, yeah, I already <clears throat> stashed them away. The last seven were from Gemmel Metalle. Uh, yeah, so uh, raw material trader here, metals, plastics, everything. Uh, link in the description. Onwards to something simpler to unpack. This should be easy and I order I featured these things already in another <coughs> mailbag uh, these are just drills uh, so for 10 millimeter chuck and a larger size <coughs> on the business ends and this should be uh, 30 millimeters 40 millimeters and 50 millimeters and I already have shown in that other mailbag, uh, it's been a while, a card here, a link in the description, the 60 millimeter <laughs> bit and that's the goal, a 60 millimeter hole. But uh, my machines are a little bit on the weaker side, so I decided, is that 10 millimeter here, the shaft? Yeah, it's it seems to be 10 millimeter, it's okay. Um, so I decided I will go uh, 12 millimeters, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. And hopefully uh, I won't talk out my <clears throat> drill or whatever. Anyway, I got these as mentioned before, also from eBay from the same seller as before. And that was the uh, Schrauben Shop 24, so Screw Shop 24. Uh, they come in all possible sizes and the three pieces I bought were uh, with shipping, that is shipping is free, a uh, total of about 15 euros. And while we are talking about tools, let's have a look inside here. I'm pretty sure I know what's here in here, <clears throat> or at least I hope that's in here. So, uh, uh, as usual, a uh, lot of packing material, and uh, <laughs> Proxon stuff. Nice. So, some HSS steel for my lathe. I already shown exactly the same set in another mailbag. Uh, why do they have to tape that shut? It's annoying. Um, yeah, a card here, link in the description. So I will just open it and that's it. The reason I bought a second set is that I kind of ruined some of these steels, tool steels here uh, while <clears throat> milling some mild steel on my little lathe uh, card here, link in the description. And yeah, nothing special, just fresh tool steel, nice. And because I plan to <laughs> do some more mild steel on my mill, I decided to upgrade a little bit. Okay. And here we have haha, some cutters that are intended to be used with Oh, let me zoom down a little bit. Uh, but first, uh, let's unwrap that stuff, if that's possible at all. Oh yeah, quite easy. So 
So we have here six carbide inserts, which will hopefully make <coughs> short work of mild steel. A uh, tool for the screws, uh, one, two, three, four spare screws and three holders for, uh, yeah, different jobs. This is obviously for uh, inside work. And that set me back a little under a hundred and that other uh yeah set was about 50 so all in all 150 euros uh including shipping and that was from a, also not from ebay also but from a company called cb direct uh link in the description now the following items are also not from ebay or amazon but also from a company called Pauli Mott. Uh, yeah, link in the description. I don't remember how much that stuff costs. Um, yeah, it wasn't that expensive. Oh. I get something and there's, oh, paperwork. Uh, let me get that away. No, nothing suspicious here. So, <laughs> yeah, you get a bag. Okay, a free bag. Am I missing something here? I hope not. Anyway, uh, let me zoom down. First of all, we have here a brooch. <laughs> and that is, of course, for, oh, that is, of course, for uh, uh, cutting a keyway <clears throat> on the inside of a hole. Uh, to be exact, that's for a five millimeter keyway. And the inside of the hole will, of course, be in that aluminum plug inside a 60 millimeter hole. So everything is coming together. And there's already at least one of these thingies, which you put into, that's in the other bag. Yeah, I have a second one here, uh, different thickness, hopefully. Yeah, different thickness. And we have, and, and a, a, a third one, uh, 5B, 4B, 5B. Okay, so I have <clears throat> one spare now. That was not my extension. And then we have here, there's some tape somewhere, no. We have the guide, which should be 16B, so 16 millimeter diameter that goes into the hole. And then all you have to do is press that brooch through and you get a nice keyway. At least that's the idea. Now, if we would have something <laughs> which we could use to press that brooch uh, through that tool and uh, yeah, that guide and through that hole, that would be great. That leaves us with that big box, which almost broke my back. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I bought that maybe one or two sizes too big, uh, pressure respectively four size. However, um, I needed the larger dimensions. So let's see if we can get that open. <laughs> I can already see what it is. Uh, a lot of cardboard inside here. Yeah, I definitely bought that too big. 
Oh, sorry. Uh... Ah. It's a two ton press. <laughs> yeah, uh little bit oversized, but uh, you will see in a second why. So I needed this space here. So if we, oh, that definitely needs, yeah, <clears throat> some fat. So if I put that all the way up, then the brooch will just fit in here. I need to open that, uh, just a sec. Okay, I just have... Oh, it's actually loose. Okay, uh, so <clears throat> that thing goes in here and then you can attach it. And yeah. You see, that ain't working even with uh, that large of a press. So I will have to remove that thingy here. Oops. And improvise a little bit and then it should just work. So I need something here to do the actual work. But uh, yeah, uh, if I would have taken the uh, 1.5 ton press, uh, even that wouldn't be possible. If I took the one, point, uh, one ton press, uh, yeah, no chance at all. So yeah, the two ton press it was and it will stay here on the table until I get something so I can roll it around because uh, yeah, this is... Uh, just cast iron, a big block of cast iron and I <laughs> I really almost broke my back lifting that thing around. Anyway, I got that press from Amazon from a Wiltex store. Uh, it's no longer available obviously, but I cashed out 108 euros 99 cents including shipping for it. That's it for today. Yeah, uh, it has lubrication, but in all the wrong points. <clears throat> so next time we will uh, actually do some machine work uh, on the lathe and uh, maybe with that thing. Till then, bye.